Pope Francis, uh, we had the joy of meeting him when we made the Ad Limina visit. And I think one thing that comes out very clearly is that Pope Francis is a very simple person, very humane, very warm. And when he spoke to the bishops, he spoke to them in a very open uh, forum where he says, let's talk, let's not be too formal, which is something that comes across very well, that uh, the Holy Father is seeks simplicity, seeks to reach the heart, seeks to the issues. Um, his concern, of course, you can see goes beyond just the concern of organization. He is concerned both by individuals, the person who is suffering, the person who is in need. When we met him, it was soon after the Garissa incident, where he was asking not only about the general students, about individuals, how, how, did they, how are there people who are sick, what happened. So he's interested in individuals. So it was very beautiful. Um, the, I, we haven't had many chances to meet him, as you know. But we have had chances to follow a lot. Uh, you can see he's very much concerned, especially about the marginalized, the people who are poor, the people who have been forgotten. And uh, the big heart that he has, which is reminding us of the heart of mercy, he's constantly saying we have to have a space in our heart for everybody. We have to be Christ who welcomes and guides people back to humanity, not only to Christ, not only to Christian life, but to humanity, to humane actions. So he comes across with a very human face. He's able to reveal to us the divine face of Christ, the divine action of Christ. So the mercy he's speaking about is above all that idea, Christ cares for you. No matter how far you are, Christ is still welcoming you. It's like he's still on the cross, but he wants to embrace you no matter how far you are. Like he did with the, with the thief on the cross, like he did with the people in the, in the scripture. But also, even those who are close, those who are, who are faithful, who are living upright lives, that Christ wants you to be better. He's not mediocre. That's why he's saying we can't be Christians half. Half Christians, we must live the fullness of our Christian. And then that word Christianity must be joyful, cheerful, a witness like you see he's always smiling, he's always warm. When he's called out of time, he still turns around and touches that child. He still turns around and listens to the care of someone. So in a nutshell, uh, he also is humorous. When we met him, uh, as he passed by, I joked with him uh, as he was greeting the other bishops. And uh, he looked back to, to me and uh, I told him, I'm sure, Holy Father, you are coming to Kenya. Uh, and he says, well, no, 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 I'm still thinking, I'm still thinking. You know, he's got a sense of humor. He, he's, he's human, but at the same time with a very deep uh, spiritual sense. So I think when he comes in, we have to see him as a father, very human, very warm, very concerned about us. And at the same time, without very many reasons to make formality. So that is Pope Francis for us. Simplicity, the detachment from things. He's, you see, he, he's not with his position, he's not looking for great things. He wants a small car, he wants to be close to the people, he wants, he is the sense of, of that the, in the world that is involved in materialism, that everyone is determining their status by what I have and what I show others people I have. He's once more telling us, no, that is not what matters. It's what I have within. He's determining the parameters now of what is human, by how I love, how I relate, how I meet people. It's what I have within that really uh, measures me and determines me, not what I have in material. That's one very clear thing. And that our Christian life is more than just living your own personal life. It's about looking at the person nearby. It's about reaching out. It's about holding hands. It's about lifting. It's about even bringing close and warming the hearts of those who are with their hearts cold. Um, Christianity is more than just my life. It's my life and the witnessing to others. A great witness. And obviously, he's a person who also comes through to, to all of us as a, a, a person who has the heart in others.
doesn't think about himself. He himself, his, his age and even his conditions of health, but doesn't think about himself. He thinks about others. He wants as many people to meet Christ, to love Christ, to be converted, to come out from their difficulties. And not only Christians, even non-Christians. And finally, the love of discovering in nature, contemplation. Discover God once more in nature. Discover God in contemplation, creation. He's opening a new horizon of environment that is not just being green. It's that God is there reflected in all the things of creation and environment and we have to defend what God has given us. And that is a very, very powerful message. And for us in Africa, very powerful because of course the degradation is coming to us now in a big way. We must discover that that's God's legacy and we must protect that. And he's doing that in a spiritual sense, not just in a uh, sociological sense. And so, yes, he's given us big, big lessons of how to be Christian.